can see you're not happy, but you need a hug. I kind of do. Oh. Judy, what are you doing? Let's kill her. <gasps> kill me? Why do you want to kill me? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we don't want to kill you. We just kind of have to. Uh, just a little bit. <gasps> but I'm cutie, the loving elephant. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to a Backlog Gamers review of another video game. And actually, this is another game of the month that we had called It Takes Two. To make a thing go right. It takes two to make a thing go right. Oh, I don't know if we're allowed to use that music. Are we allowed to use that? It's licensed. We probably it's, can't. <laughs> it's, we're, it's, our, it's our crappy cover of it. Oh, I think, oh, we're, fair enough, fair I think we're good. So we're out. No. We only sang one <laughs> lyric. Yes, but we did play the whole game of It Takes yes. Two, and we got to play it together, which was really fun. Um, this was our first uh, Backlog Gamers Game of the Month that was mm -hmm. actually a, a co-op game that we got to play. So... That was super fun uh, for us to get to do that for the very first time. And actually, we streamed the whole thing. And I, I think it's something that we can do again in the future, probably on our uh, YouTube channel oh, as, yeah. uh, as we continue to grow this amazing podcast and this amazing community that the Backlog Gamers has become. So, uh, no, I'm really excited about some of that future stuff that we get to do. Are you worried about your? Uh... It's, <laughs> it's worried about his cam. It's driving me nuts. It oh, is. That's all I can nuts. see. Um, all right. Well, hey, why don't we jump into it? Takes two. I'm ready. Yeah. It's funny because uh, I mean, we we technically already re recorded this once, but yes. all it captured was our voices in the green screen here. That's right. So we get to do it again, and I think we could do it in a little a little tighter uh, yes. than we did it the first time around, which is great. So. Uh, I, it's I'm hard because we we, we enjoy talking about these games, especially ones that we liked. Yes, right. Agreed. And although uh, one that um, we may or may not have liked a whole lot got a lot of attention from us. <laughs> that so, also, there was a lot to complain yeah, about. There on was that a one. lot to uh, there was a lot to discuss on that one. But uh, we're talking about it takes two. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about It Takes Two in this uh, review. Yes. And I think we need to jump right into it. There was so... Well, tell me give, me... give me a little general overview. Like, just a general thoughts. It was awesome. Loved the Solid. music. <laughs> Loved... Uh, the graphics were cartoony, but I, I, I did enjoy some of the... Uh, yeah. The scenery and the uh, some of the levels that we were in, the yeah. gameplay was incredible. It was constantly changing, and it was always fun. Uh, the music, did I already mentioned music because music was really good yeah. Yeah. in this game, and the story. I really, I really enjoyed the story. There's, yeah. there's not. I don't really think I have many complaints. Yeah, for I, it I, takes two. I totally agree, and I, I think the overall experience just was really good. You and I yes. had a blast playing this game. Um, I mean, let's let's be real. One, one of the comments that we got while we were playing this game was that, oh my gosh, you two are so funny and so smiley and having so much fun. Yeah. It is so fun to watch because you guys are having so much fun playing this game. Yep. So we really, really had a really great time playing this game. Um, I think we should dive into some of the the more specifics okay. uh, of the game. Uh, what would you say, tell me some thoughts on, um, how about we start with uh, characters? Because this was a story game. And oh, you know what? Actually, let's start with story because then it'll give us a, a nice like reminder of what happens in the game before we get into some characters. Well, I uh, the story. I mean, honest, it's kind of like it, it doesn't seem like it's not it's not a like a deep story. It's about, you know, uh, a couple, you know, going through, you know, tough times in their marriage. They're going to get a divorce and, and it's showing yeah. the impact yeah. of, of what that does to your kid. And how yeah. your kid feels, and the game, you know, the story really got me in the feels a few times. But it was really cool sure. because with this premise, you know, we're at the beginning where they're just like, "Well, we need to tell her we're getting a divorce." To to and by the way, full on spoilers. 
before oh, you yeah, go any further. Spoilers all the way through Spoiler this. Spoiler so. <laughs> alert. But you're going to ruin the heck out of this game for you. Uh, but for them to g- start out um, where they're going to be getting, you know, divorced to where, you know, they become dolls and a clay, a clay doll and a wooden doll. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you meet the book of love, Dr. Hakeem, and <laughs> he takes you on this journey to really kind of put you in situations that kind of, you know, make you realize why you two fell in love in the first place yes, and, and right. rekindles this mm-hmm. relationship. So I, I just thought the story getting the, back to the foundation. I yeah. Think, the right? pa- Yeah. The pacing was really good in it. And yeah. I, I, I had a lot of fun watching their relationship grow as yeah. we played. It was a lot and of fun. I, I thought the story, um, you said it wasn't deep, but I, I, I would argue that it's, it's heartfelt. It's really like, right. It, it, it gets to the heart of things. And so maybe it's not as, maybe it's not such a, a like a this deep mystical whoa my brain is melting uh kind of like a cutting edge story right but it is a very like let no let's get back to the brass tacks here yeah let's get back to the meat of things the foundation of what uh of life and this is all about relationships and how they interact with each other yep. and how things change over time and how you got to learn to live with that yeah. or you're going to fall apart. Yeah. Um, and so I think that I, and I think that's a universal thing. I think that's so easy for everybody to get behind. Yeah. It's very understand. relatable. It's very relatable uh, because everybody has had a relationship that it doesn't matter how old you are, young, old, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, is you've had relationships with people in some form or another that have, gone great and have gone bad at times too yep. so it's just a part of uh the human experience so yeah. i felt like that was very universal easy for everybody to connect to for sure and even even the best relationships deteriorate over time sure yeah so it, well gotta, and, it's, and it takes work i think the whole the point work. the point of the totally. theme of that game is you know it, it takes two it takes yeah. two to make this work Right, totally. I, I mean, you and I have been best friends for, gosh, I mean, I don't even know how many years at this point. Basically uh, forever. 13, it's annoying. Maybe? I, I don't even know. Um, that sounds, yeah, that sounds, maybe that's right. I don't know. Anyways, we've been best Are friends you... for stinking ever. But you and I, uh, I mean, we've had good days and bad. We've had the times when we're mad at each other. We've had times <laughs> when we're uh, like, I don't even want to see your face right now, or I don't want to talk to you. But then like, you know, we work it out and you move on. And I think it's, it was really. Fun. We're also not married, though. Just, just true, true, for true. clarification. Yeah, but I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that you can see that within any relationship. Oh yeah. And you and I getting to play that game together was really fun yes. because you and I have had so many fun years playing video games yeah. together that at, even over the last couple of years, it's been hard. Yeah. Uh, for us to get a lot of time to play games together, and getting to play through that game together was a really kind of a special uh special treat i thought for sure um yeah it was a good bonding experience and we played so many games together that i mean we were disabled i know how you play you know how i play and we were able yeah. to we completed some puzzles without even saying a word to each other yeah we didn't even, we just like, we just didn't knew. Even think but yeah. it's like we didn't even have to communicate yeah. whatsoever it was just like boop, 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 boop. i would do one thing he would do the other thing yep. and actually let, let's talk about that a little bit and that that has to do with gameplay oh yeah because the gameplay was just what? so good what the it's gameplay so was good. so good the, the ways they came up oh. with with like puzzles or uh, platforming sections and stuff for you to get through and you had kind of had to help each other based on the certain tools you were given for that yes. level yes, I, yes. I, it was clever I and mean, it was fun one of the first ones we get was the hammer and the nails right yeah um and i got the hammer you got the nails um and you could throw the nails and I could use the hammer to like swing and hit things. Yep. And it was two completely different abilities, mm-hmm. but each ability was absolutely necessary for us to get through the level. Completely essential. Yeah. So cool. I, I, and the coolest part about that was it wasn't just the hammer and the nail. That was just the start. Yeah. That was just like the beginning when we're out in the shed. But then we go to a new level and 
the tree or we go to a new level in uh, the uh, what was it, the vacuum cleaner or we go to a new level. And, dude, it changes as you go and we get different abilities. Mm-hmm. And it was insane how many different abilities we got. Yeah, for the different I levels. have to shoot goo on something and then you have to set it on fire. Yes. Uh, you have to water a plant so I could become a plant and, and help yes, us traverse right. across the like a little river. Uh, yeah. Just a little just one the where little I things. got to teleport and uh, uh, like uh, leave a little clone yeah. <laughs> over here. It's just crazy. Yeah, so it much. Just crazy. I, I mean, at each level, they were all carefully thought out and thematic. And yes, right, thematic for the level that you're yeah. At, right. Oh, I mean, and, it, and, it just it was like you were playing a different game at each level. Yeah, but it was the okay. same game. I totally agree. And I thought one of the coolest parts about that was what I think they did um, with It Takes Two. I think they went and they were like, what are like our most favorite gaming memories? Yes. What are our most favorite gaming memories when we're playing and we're like, oh my gosh, that is just the coolest. That is just so much fun. And you can even pinpoint like, where you saw these gaming memories or where you have experienced it before. For example, I'm thinking about uh, the rails when we're like on the, in the little train carts or, or we're sliding on the, like uh, grinding on the rails, like grinding in Tony Hawk uh, pro skater or uh, in the cart, like you're on in Donkey Kong or, or rainbow road. There is a literal rainbow road. Yeah. In this uh, game. shooting guns like we were playing <laughs> Conquer live and reloaded at yes, squirrels. Yes. Uh, you you got to fly a plane. Or I, yeah. I got to guide the plane. You had you got to shoot at yes, the incoming right. hornets and stuff. I mean, there were I, there was so much packed into it. They even had a fan a little fantasy section where I where yes. I, I, mean, I became a mage and you you were like a knight and I was like a knight with like a flaming yes. sword and I had different abilities and you had different yes. abilities and so we we're playing this dungeon crawler. I yeah. mean, just brilliantly executed that, that, uh, the great part of us uh, streaming through that is that i there were every time we sat down and played it was like oh this game this game makes me want to play this game i think i wanted to play gears of yes, war at one point. right right like this game yeah. makes me want to play gears of war and i was like wasn't even really a gears of war section but it was just yes i don't know it's like they they took all these inspirations and made them their own and it was yeah. I, it, it was great the gameplay I, a plus i think that is a that is a testament to a great game oh yeah if it is so good that it makes you want to play more video games, yeah, you're like, oh man, I just, oh man, well, I love this. It makes me want to go play. I, th- and, I love this. And and, one, and for so once, good. you're playing a co-op game where you literally have to rely on your co-op partner, right, to move right. forward. It's not like you're playing Halo where I can run around and kill everything. Yeah. For you, and then we can sure. progress. Sure. Yeah. Hey, I'll be the anchor for a minute. I, yeah. I gotta go get a snack, or I gotta go make yeah. some tea. I'll play anchor. You just go and you know kill people. Yeah. Like, Both go, players go. are vital to a progression vital, in that game. Vital. I mean, you can run ahead a little bit, but then you're gonna run into something where you yeah. can't get you can't go any further without them. And then and they take that further with fun. all the mini games throughout the game. I, yeah, uh, where we right. could where we could just just take a little break from what we're doing, and we can go uh, hit some baseballs or play chess. Yeah. I mean, it was like over... yeah, we played a full game of chess. Yeah. You know, got timed out on it because we played the speed run, you yeah, know, speed chess, which was great. I mean, there were so many, and there were so many mini games. Yes, some tons. wild ones, all different too. So yep. it was really really cool. So much fun to yes. be had. Had a great in this time. Game. Uh, just so playing that. It brought me so much joy. Yeah, and you know what else brought me joy? Uh, was, I, I think some of the characters were voice acted just so beautifully. Yes. And so perfectly. The characters in this game were so fun. Yes. So much fun. You got to be Cody. I got to be Yes. Ray. And, uh, of course, throughout the game, we, we are having our own different abilities for yeah. every single level, of course, which okay, again, it's just wild. Every, like there's so many different, ways. every level and of the different. Uh, but the cool thing was, is like, we also had our own character. Yeah. Right? And like that Cody was your character. May was my character. And you kind of like, 
like throughout the game, we start like getting attached to these characters and you're kind of like, yeah, yeah. Like what May said, or you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like what Cody said. Yeah. yeah? And, and so, and we're kind of like, because they're kind of bickering, uh, for a lot comically, of comically, by the way, but it comically, was always like, hilarious. Yeah. In a, in a good way. And, and in a way that actually sometimes it would land just right where it actually hurt. And you were like, Oh, Oh, that was yeah, and then those moments and the music changed the mood and everything. It was yeah, yes, right, right. And so I think some of the characters were brilliant. Uh, For sure, those were the two main characters. Yes, we also had Doctor Hakeem, the Book of Love, the Book of Love, man. We are we he's doing this the whole time. The whole game. (laughs) <laughs> Dr. Hakeem was an absolute <laughs> riot. He I mean, was hilarious. It's almost impossible not to smile when that guy's on the on the screen. Yeah, it's, oh my he's gosh. fantastic. He was hilarious. Yeah, and actually, I, you and I had talked a little bit about this. How this is kind of the second game where we've had like a narrator type uh, character that uh, has really kind of risen the level of yeah. the game because the narrator character was so interactive and fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that's really cool. Oh, I yeah. would love to see that in more games, to be honest. And even a lot of the side characters that you meet along the way are fantastic. Like the, the queen elephants. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I've never had a moment in, in my oh. life playing games where I was so happy and so mortified at the same time. We were laughing yeah. and, and like yelling at that the was, same time. Like <laughs> that was so brilliant <laughs> brilliant. It was so brilliantly uh written and acted and it was it, it made for no. one of the best moments in the game. I think we can work something out. Yeah. You have to kill your daughter's elephant to make her cry because they thought (laughs) making her cry would bring them back to their human form. Oh, my gosh. All of that for nothing, too. This is horrible. What are we doing? Like, we couldn't do We're like, oh, Oh, I can't doing this. That was so funny. And that was one of the great things about all the characters is throughout all of these moments and interactions that we have with all these characters, we have all sorts of feelings. Yeah. All sorts of feelings yeah. because of that. And uh, I, I thought that was brilliant. There was, uh, who else did we run into? We ran into Moon Baboon. Moon Baboon. Who was not having it with us. Not even uh, he, a little bit. <laughs> he was pretty wild. We had some uh, frogs yeah. that helped us get around. Yeah, we had some, some frogs, which was another super great super disgusting gameplay. spiders. Oh yeah, but that but added a really interesting gameplay mechanic where we got to crawl around on things upside down and all yeah. that. and super neat. Super neat. How about the squirrels? The squirrels, squirrels didn't like were great. Very yeah. Much. <laughs> yeah, the, the least interesting character was probably the daughter, but we didn't get to see her very much. So sure, we didn't get to see her very much. Yeah. Although, although when you did see her, those uh, were the heartfelt moments. Those were when some heartfelt, like, oof. Ouch. Yeah, that one's that one's tough. Girl. That one got me in the feels. Yeah, and you feel bad for her. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got all those. Uh we <laughs> ran into um a giant flower yeah uh, that was poison that se- that that section was cool you that's like one of those it, you sympathize with the boss like the boss fight yeah right right because she like, was poisoned it wasn't like yeah she didn't mean to be that way she was just poisoned and she was messed like her brain was messed or, up or you know you ticked off the vacuum cleaner because you didn't <laughs> you never fixed it so then he starts trying to kill you i mean you, you were gonna replace me <laughs> <laughs> we did replace you I mean, did replace you, oh right? yeah, just yeah. things like or, that. It's like you never truly hated okay. any of the villains that you were fighting up against. They were just venting their frustrations most of the time. Right, right. Which, which of course played into the story because yeah. they were frustrated because of one of the characters, and mm-hmm. uh, and and it would always come down to one person's fault. But okay, you know, like okay, I'm not gonna, I get it. I'm not gonna blame you, right? And yeah. so that's kind of what came out of each one yeah um, and let's talk about unique boss fights too a wonderfully unique boss oh, fight so with all these good. different characters that, that also really uh you know forced co-op you needed both of you to f- defeat yeah. all of them 
like yeah. the, the, the 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 flower for example i mean we had to work together to kill all the all the things that they were throwing at us but then yeah, she would like throw out venom and i would have to spray it down yeah. so that you could get in close enough to actually yeah. uh, you know do damage it, it's yeah. really and not to mention like once you had to water the plant like the area right in front of her so that my character his ability he could go get yeah. inside her and then i had to bring her vulnerable spots down there for you yeah, yeah. To, for me to, to attack to clean yeah, out. yeah. Dude, really cool just awesome and and you know what like not only was it, there was combat and there was action and there was uh, movement and the maneuverability in this game was brilliant. Yes. And uh, there was so many cool and awesome things. It's, but uh, the game also had these really interesting, like, soft moments. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it was game, like mini games. Yeah. Sometimes it was us going to a spa in the garden and getting uh <laughs> getting massages Ugh. from caterpillars or yeah. doing yoga with spiders you know like, yeah <laughs> so i mean it was brilliantly done yeah to the point where it wasn't like overwhelming with all the action and craziness yeah. happening there was also these really great moments of like quiet exploration and enjoying the environment and i think the environment and taking it all in. were really cool yep i mean Every single like every single one was different. There was like the cardboard castle and unique was, in its own way. Yeah, right. And then there was the outer space where the entire where had, music section. Yes, right, right. The whole orchestra section, yeah. right, and and the snow globe, right, oh, and yes, and each section had something different for the abilities too. Like I just thought of the space one where I had gravity boots. You had the uh, the shrinking ability. Yes, so you could shrink while I was running around on. Yes, that was a good planes one. and stuff. I it was so brilliant how they utilized the. Uh, environments to suck you into the game mm -hmm. and give you new gameplay dynamics without going, hey, this is how you do it, and giving you, like, going straight yeah. tutorial. Cool. I never felt like I was in a tutorial in that game. Ever. Not even once. Because you did. Well, you start off a level, and then just just getting into the level, they gave you these easy tasks to do where you yeah. had to utilize your new ability and you kind of just took it from there and you kind of yeah. learned on your own what to do. And I think that's, mm. I think that's very clever Brilliant. game design. Because very that's, clever. You didn't, there's nothing holding your hand. This wasn't Fable that was just guiding you to the next objective. You know, <laughs> right, you right, got to right, explore. Exactly. You got to do things on your own time. You got to go play with the Etch-A-Sketch in your daughter's bedroom. Yeah. I, I just a whole bunch of There was a lot of crazy. Play. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a lot of fun to play. Yeah. And I think and the environments had a lot to do with that. Yes. One environment I'm going to point out that you and I just were over the moon about. And I'm not talking about the space environment. Which would technically Although be all really, of them. But yeah, we really Which technically enjoyed, be all of them. <laughs> like all of them. But one that we were especially excited about was the jukebox. Yes. We went into the jukebox and it was the music section. And it was like the last main level yeah. of the game and uh we go into the jukebox and there's this epic music and this epic environment just cool lighting and all sorts of really neat things and the music was on fire yes sometimes and literally think, <laughs> and i think the music and the score in this game was also brilliant I, I think it's hard to say anything bad about the music in this game because honestly, it kept you invested and engaged in every single environment because it was thematic, but also it kept you invested in every moment emotionally. Well, yeah, it amplified whatever the mood was, no matter what it totally. was. Totally. It was a sad totally. moment. The music made you feel made you really feel it if it was a yeah a, a suspenseful moment you really felt the suspense with the music um they they definitely crushed yeah. it on the score and i don't i don't feel like there was ever a moment where i just felt like oh here's your generic like s the background music while yeah. we run through the game which we've experienced Lost in other random. games before yeah exactly 
and and you just go, oh, like I'm so tired of hearing the same music. I've been playing 20 hours of this game with this same music. Yeah, it exhausts now, you for no reason. Feel, exactly, <laughs> and I didn't feel that at all, Agreed. like not even once yes. in this game. Uh, there was just so many fun things going on in this game. Uh, I think I, I want to ask one more thing before we kind of go into wrap up and score. Okay. Let's, we've been, we've, we've had a, um, we've been talking about quirks in every review because every game has quirks, right? All of them. Um, all of them. Every game has quirks and sometimes quirks are okay. Yeah, we can get over them. And sometimes quirks are like, uh, that was horrible. That definitely, you know, that's definitely going to dock you some points. Talk to me about quirks in this game. So I, I didn't really have any. Uh, <laughs> there was there was a couple moments where, like, the controls were kind of wonky. And sure. that the most notable one was when we were on that, like, rowboat thing. Yeah. Or the, the ship where, you know, one of us had to be going forward while the other one had to go back. And we just kind right. of couldn't one get of it really was figured pedaling. out. Yeah, we were both Super wonky. Breaks. You and I are yeah. usually in tune on that stuff, but we couldn't get facing the right way to shoot yeah. cannons at people. And, and and that could partially be, you know, user because maybe, you know, yeah, we were not doing it, it right, but maybe we're just weren't in sync. We're so used to not having to communicate. That section really needed us to communicate. We, kinda, right. we, we had to start at talking it. during that yes. section because we were having issues there. Yeah. But so, that, that honestly would really be my only, my only issue. I don't really think anything else about that game. I was just like, oh, why did they do this? Yeah. Uh, except for maybe the EA issue that you were having. <laughs> yeah, that's my huge quirk. Yeah. Uh, I had one huge quirk, and uh, I I don't even know. I, I won't even hold it against the game, but let let's let me explain. We got on to stream this game and totally ready to go, and as soon as I tried to log in to the, like, I tried to play this game, it says, no, you got to have an EA account, <laughs> and you got to be logged into your EA account. And I was like, I do have one. I'm logged in. I've always been logged in. That's yep. My Xbox and my EA account are attached. Like, why? I don't understand. Uh, come to find out, my EA account was hacked or something, and they, uh, they EA, like, shut down my account. <laughs> and how <laughs> long did it take you to get it hacked. going? And it took me like, what was it? An hour and a half. Uh-huh. 90 hour minutes. Hour and a half. I had to go, like, I couldn't get it figured out. I couldn't even set up a new account. I had to get on the uh, on the chat with the, uh, with, oh gosh, what was the, what was the name of the guy? I have no idea. I can't remember. A special <laughs> shout out, special shout out to the EA uh, chat guy who was not a bot, who actually genuinely went through and helped me get it sorted out. Yep. And we have video proof about that because it was all during the stream. We uh, do. So uh, super shout out to them because I do appreciate that. However, the big quirk was, EA, are you kidding me? This is a joke. Like, uh, this should not Horrible. be such a problem. For Just me to, to play, play your game. game with my friend. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It, that is Unreal. Ridiculous. Yeah. So. Big quirk, not holding it against. Uh, I won't hold that against. It takes two. Yeah, that's, that's more of an EA an problem EA than it is issue. the game itself, totally. I think. So that was my big quirk, but it really wasn't even the game quirk. So. Yeah, because the <laughs> uh, game didn't really have many of those. I Yeah. So Halo Titan, I think it's time for us to do our final over, like our final just these are my last thoughts and a score. What do you got, man? Beautiful story, beautiful graphics, yeah. amazing gameplay, fantastic score. So good. Just I the the puzzles alone and traversing through this world with a friend and having to rely yes. on that friend. Just a game that brought me more joy than I can remember a game bringing me in a long time. Yeah, totally. This game is hands down 100% a 10 for me. Awesome. Awesome. That's a you guys heard it. Halo 10. Titan. Halo Titan, 10, right there. Uh, for me, I, I totally agree with all those things you said. The story, uh, the, the music, the graphics. I love the cartooniness. Uh, I, I loved the interactions. I loved the gameplay. I mean, had a stinking blast playing this game. So but much. But the biggest thing for me 
And I, I got to say, the biggest thing for me about this game was it made me remember how much I love video games, how much I yes. really enjoy video games. And you and I got to play together and have an absolute ball enjoying this together. And that was so much fun to me because one of my favorite things about video games is getting to play together. Yeah. And the other thing that I love about video games is when it's just fun and just we're having a riot. Fun. And this game, it had so much nostalgia for me just with all the different game elements that we've seen in all sorts of games that we love. This game delivered. I got to give this game a bona fide 10. The first Backlog Gamers bona fide 10 rating for a game ever. And I got to say, it absolutely deserves it. 100%. This game was so good. They did such a masterful job on that. Like, it makes masterful. me, I want to go play everything they've ever made. That's how good it was. Dude, I totally agree. Yep. Totally agree. I got to say, this is super exciting for us to release because this is our first Backlog Gamers 10. So this is really exciting. Tough fact to if follow. You guys, yeah, if you guys haven't didn't actually get to play with us, but you have played the game before, let us know in the comments what you loved about yeah. this game. Because really, we loved so much about this game. And Everything. we could talk for a long time about this game. Tell us what We've you We've already been going for game. half an hour, too. I know, right? Tell us what you loved about this game in the comments down below. And if you didn't play it yet and you watched all the way to here, we're so sorry we spoiled that for you. But we hope you at least got the gist. Maybe it, maybe it inspired you. Man, I need to go grab one of my friends still, and we need to play still this Still worth together. playing. So totally worth playing. Yep, still and worth uh, it. I'm so thankful that we got to experience this game together as Me our too. backlog game of the month. And uh, I'm really thankful that you guys joined us for this video review of it takes two first backlog gamers all around bona fide 10 and uh i can't wait to see you guys in the next backlog gamers review we'll see you guys then peace Later.